It's my life. It's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. LeDron James. Coming this summer. And now I'm all alone again. Nowhere to turn. No one to go to without a home. LeDron James. LeDron James in his Broadway debut. And you're gonna hear me roar. LeDron James here. Okay, is it over? Congratulations to our correspondent, LeDrom James. LeDrom James! C- congratulations what, for whatever he's doing. Congratulations on whatever he's doing. Do we have a person of the day? We don't. Okay. He loves it. What happened? (laughs) Okay, great, amazing. Congratulations to that dog. Congratulations to that dog who was digging around whatever the hell his little ass, okay, was up to. By the way, did we get that dog's name? It's Bilbo. Okay, oh God. All right. Ich bin bereit, den Tag in diesem Outfit zu rocken. Wie gefällt dir das Outfit? Lass es dir gut gehen und mach dir einen schönen Tag. Okay, what the hell is this right here? Oh, I found this on TikTok. This is a, what is this from? The Deutsche Bank. They have a TikTok? Why? The bank. Okay. Okay, let me check this TikTok out. We're looking for... We're looking for a brat in finance. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, the summer of the brats is almost over. Yeah, I mean. The summer of the brats is almost over, and I don't even still know what it means. I don't even know still what it means. Still don't know what it means to be a brat. What? So what is this? Deutsche Bank looking for a brat in finance. Okay, maybe this can provide a clue as to what it all meant to be a brat. <laughs> innumerable well i guess they're numerable scandals but there are a lot of them yeah, easy man uh, all associated with deutsche bank right give yeah, a break more money laundering schemes than i can even count off, off the top of my head Whoa. they were evading taxes they were bribing people they were violating international sanctions <laughs> look at any major financial scandal in the past 10 or 15 years deutsche bank has been at or near the center <laughs> whoa executives are- okay i get it that does sound pretty bratty these brats are out here like this <laughs> Come on. These brats out here in these streets like... (laughs) Okay, sorry, sorry. Anything else? Deutsche Bank has agreed to pay $75 million to settle claims brought by an Epstein survivor accusing the bank of knowingly facilitating a sex trafficking operation. Whoa, 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 brat. Brat meter rising. Whoa, whoa, that's code red brat. (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just realized. I know a brat. I think you guys might actually know who this Brad is. It's Bilbo. He goes like this. <laughs> okay. Wait a second, what is that? Oh, it's the Joe Alert. That stuff scares the fuck out of people. He changed the Minnesota state flag to make it look like a Somali flag. Oh, that son of a yeah. bitch. Oh. You ever seen that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going like Sh- that. Show that video. So the video of him taking down the Minnesota flag and he replaced it with the new flag that oh, looks a lot sicko. like the Somali flag. Wow. Minnesota's a huge... Um, you know what's on that new Minnesota flag? It's Bilbo. It's Bilbo, and then written underneath Bilbo, it says... <laughs> that's the Minnesota... It's the Minnesota state slogan. It goes like this. <laughs> wow. Minnesota has a huge um, population of Somalis in it. Well, isn't What's-Her-Face? Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. Omar. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think these YouTube channels that Joe watches, they are abusing Joe. I think they are... uh, I think they should get in trouble for abusing Joe. They're abusing the ass of Joe. Because it's like, what what even is this? Well, what the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? It's like, what what the hell? What the hell did the internet tell you, Joe? 
Okay, Joe, I want you to point to the kid who's saying these things to you. I'm gonna tell his parents. This guy changed the flag of this state to look more like Somalia. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? In co <laughs> this guy put tampons. Poor Joe listening to a guy who looks and sounds like this. Come on, Joe. You know, I guess at least Joe connects the dots here. This guy's changing the flag. Maybe he's pandering. I, don't, I have no idea. I guess that's what Joe Rogan's saying. Maybe he's pandering to these people. I mean, it's still got a, oh, those other people. Ugh. You know, it's still got a little bit of that. I've lived in Florida and Texas basically my whole life. I barely remember what the Florida flag looks like. And this is the Texas flag. Oh, it's, it's got blue with a big star on it. Oh my God, I thought of something so funny. Oh my God. So this, uh, this new flag came from a competition that they did from people living in Minnesota. They were like, hey, send us a design. People were putting like anime cat girls on there. Picture of their dog. You know, a low res JPEG of Nicki Minaj probably. All this kind of crap. I thought of the best, <laughs> I thought of the best Minnesota flag. It's just a blue flag with the shape of the state of Minnesota crossed out. <laughs> Here it is. I don't know why I think that's so funny. That should be the state flag of Minnesota. Okay, Joe, don't let Jamie get away with this stuff. Don't let Jamie, don't let goddamn, what's the guy's name, Jamie, be doing this. Boom, boom. Go ahead, Joe. Um, yes. Yeah. Omar. Yeah. Oh, but there's a video of him doing it. Exactly, Joe. Thank you. Man, well, okay, well, let's see the video. But they did change the Minnesota state flag, correct? Got him. Sometimes the false. Yes. The yeah, that's the problem with, like, fact checkers. Some of these fact checkers are completely full of shit. They're like, you're just trying to debunk something, especially now. Right. When there's all this scrutiny being paid attention to what this guy's done. They're going like this. <laughs> I was just trying to even Come get on, to Jamie. it. A whole bunch You're of stories caught, are popping man. up. I'll just show you this. Like, no, he didn't give him a Joe Smalley flag. No, he didn't change. No, it resembles Somali, false Somali. But state what does it look? Shut up, Jamie. Okay, but what does it look like now? So I was trying yeah. to get to. Ooh, ooh, okay, on the left is Somali flag. You a lot of this. On the boom, right boom, boom, boom. is the Minnesota state flag. All right, ready. Whoa, wait a minute. Get him, Joe, please. So he gets the flag, picks it up, sicko, moves it out of the way, and replaces it. Look at this. There, that's better. And now here on the line, we have a resident of Minnesota to comment on this uh, atrocity. What do you think about this, man? <laughs> enough. Enough. Note to editor. Take that out. Okay. <laughs> okay, what else we got here? Oh, oh, my favorite newsman, Tim Pool. My number one national newsman, Tim Pool. What was this clip? Oh, he's opening a coffee place. Ooh, thank God. Okay. Let's check that out. So, my friends, before we get started, head over to castbrew.com. Why? I never because we will. have coffee. Okay. Coffee. Everybody's selling coffee. You know, every single influence in the world selling the coffee. I'll tell you why. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But okay. uh, we actually, you know, we were asked about this, and I said, I want to open physical locations where people can hang out. So, if you live in an area and you don't know how to meet people and you're trying to find like minded individuals, right. how do you do it? We open up coffee shops and there's a place to go and hang out and oh. spend your days and talk with friends and ma make new friends. The TVs, it's great. I got the mock-ups for the for the new coffee shop design. Okay. Yep. And the okay. TVs on the side have Steven Crowder on them. And I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, cool. You'll go to hang out okay. and there will be like the, the TVs that are playing won't have CNN. They won't have Fox News. They won't have MSNBC. They'll have Steven Crowder, Viva Fry and Barnes. They're going to have the Daily Wire. Oh my god, I love that this guy moved to some town in West Virginia and he's just absolutely destroying it. You know, you live in this town in West Virginia, you're like, let's say, hey, there's a coffee place. Maybe stop there. Maybe just stop there and get an Americano. Then you go in to get a coffee and there's just giant TVs blasting rumble shows. You're waiting for your coffee and Steven Crowder's in the background going like this. <laughs> oh, this is an easy place to make friends. Well, what were you saying? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Elon Musk. Is taking a group of advertisers to court. Musk alleges that a, quote, massive advertiser boycott lost his company X billions of dollars in revenue and violated antitrust laws. Oh, those things X filed bitches. this suit in a Texas federal court against the World Federation of Advertisers. Been seeing this all over the place. You know what the hell is this? What the hell is this guy's name? Iluma. He's suing somebody. He's doing another publicity lawsuit. Oh wow! Oh great! Oh great! People are talking about you. Keeping your name in the headlines. Going like this. <laughs> okay, let's check this out. This is the thing he's suing: Global Alliance for Responsible Media. 
or garm. Oh, look at that. When you put your mouse over it, hold on. Let's just see it again. Oh, whoa. When you put your mouse over it, it goes like this. Garm, also known as what do they do? Uh, they provide voluntary and pro-competitive tools for the advertising industry. These tools provide information to help advertisers avoid inadvertently supporting harmful and illegal content, including reducing such ads from 6.1% in 2020 to 1.7% in 2023. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, what's this at the bottom? There's a twist here. GARM, which is short for, is a small not-for-profit initiative, and recent allegations that that unfortunately misconstrue its purpose and activities have caused a distraction and significantly drained its resources and finances. GARM, GARM, also known as <laughs> therefore is making the difficult decision to discontinue its activities. Okay. It's kind of how free speech really works, I guess, is uh, you could do some free speech like, hey, some creepy stuff on some of these websites. You know that thing you're selling? That vape? That vape that Bluetooth connects to your phone apps? You know, your advertisement for that thing might appear next to somebody going like this. Oh, no, sorry, they didn't say that. They went like this. You know, and then somebody with a lot of money can just sue you, you know, do a baseless lawsuit against you, and then you just don't exist anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, well. Bye-bye. There's some funny stuff in this case, though. Check this out. Check out what this pendejo right here is saying. In one of the exhibits for this case... An advertiser is asking Garm's lead, Rob, what to do about Twitter. And the guy tells the advertiser, you may want to connect with Twitter directly to understand their progress and brand safety to make your own decisions. That email starts out with him telling the advertiser pretty explicitly that Garm does not make recommendations and that such decisions are completely within the sphere of each member and subject to their own discretion. Okay, so yeah, kind of like even on their own terms, it's a... Totally baseless lawsuit, looks like. But there we go, guys. Sorry, but it's just another weekday. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding, I was f***ing lying. It's Friday. And if you're looking for something to do on this beautiful weekend, and you're in the Broadway area, check out LeDrom James's Broadway show. Looks really good. The reviews are in for LeDron's show. Here's what they say. <laughs> oh, wait, there's one more. <laughs> Love you guys. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Hey! Uh, don't forget to subscribe on Patreon, because if you don't, this show is gone. It's over. And it's not, it won't exist anymore. So click the link below to subscribe on Patreon for as little as $2, you know, a month. John James. The drum James. Bye.